Hello, you're looking at iPhone 4S again, 4S battery connector. Uh, it's very common to get mixed up, like a lot of people selling iPhone 4 battery connector as iPhone 4S. They uh, just be careful where you get this. Um, you, it can get mixed up very easily, and inexperienced sellers or even inexperienced repair shop have no freaking, they, they can't tell the difference. Anyways, from Cyberdog LC, you can get your iPhone 4S battery connector. Brand new, original packaging from the our, our original manufacturer. And we also include a piece of a quick alloy. If you don't know what quick alloy is, which is a low melting solder, do you want to look at our other video repair videos showing you how to do the repair of changing uh, the iPhone 4S battery connector with quick alloy. So we give you enough, more than enough piece to do this repair and this, this is recyclable, you can even use it in your next repair. Throughout the repair you want to keep your soldering temperature to be stable within 300 degrees Celsius or less, probably like 240 will be ideal. You want to use good quality no clean solder flux. So this is our brand of uh, no clean flux. It works really well and it's truly no clean, it leaves no residue onto your board. It's not conductive, it's not erosive. So this is what we use and you're gonna be getting a 3cc if you buy this kit with the flux. You really don't need all of it, you only need maybe like half a cc at most for this repair. So this is good for many many repairs as you can see. Depends how, how much you use the flux, but we, we recommend you use as much flux as you need. Don't, don't be cheap and don't save on flux. It's very important to use flux throughout the repair to keep the temperature to the ideal range. Okay, thank you for watching. Again, this is iPhone 4S battery connector.